Hello everybody and welcome to a new P4A screencast. Today I want to take you on a quick tour of some features of the P4A DB navigator. So we, we're going to do that, uh, just building a simple application uh, with uh, just the DB navigator and we'll take a look at uh, the drag and drop features and uh, everything else. So we're going to start uh, creating a um, simple database. I created it uh, a few minutes ago. It's called p 4 test. We have to create a navigator table with uh, three fields. We're gonna call them ID, parent ID, and title. And these fields are gonna be an integer, integer, and a text. So this will be our primary key and uh, it will be a sequence to the parent ID will be a sort of recursor on the table and the title is gonna be our description um, this structure is something like uh, nested folders on our file systems so we can have a not null nullable and not null here okay it should be okay let's save and uh, let's switch to our um, editor so we I, I built um, a simple application a few minutes ago and um, to save uh, some time it's quite simple um, I just have an index uh, PHP file which um, has the P4A DSN um, definition to point to our newly created database uh, require PHP and um, P4A and uh, start the application we have uh, the um, application main file extending P4A which just uh, open our test mask and our test mask is um, quite simple too we have a DB source pointing to the navigator table loading set as the source of the mask mm, then we have a simple toolbar then we have uh, uh, some uh, the, the three fields uh, we created uh, just a minute ago ID, parent ID, title, anchor uh, on our frame and, and then we have our DB navigator here so uh, building the DB navigator is quite simple because we just have to build it set the source which will be um, our DB source for our mask uh, set in the recursor field uh, which is uh, our parent ID we just have to set it as a string and uh, our description field then after this few lines of code um, I anchored um, in the top zone uh, the toolbar and on the sidebar the navigator and let's go to the first row because the the frame is automatically displayed on the center of our mask um, and this is a feature of the P4A base mask uh, you may know um, so we can try to launch our application to see what will happen okay uh, you can see we have the toolbar as we did it um, in this sidebar we should have the DB navigator but uh, due to the fact that uh, we have no data in our table uh, this is empty now and this is uh, the fields we anchored ID, parent ID, title uh, you can see this is another feature of P4A you can see that the ID field is um, autom automatically filled with uh, the sequence um, okay we can start adding some elements so we're gonna t um, call it this section 1 and hit save okay it's coming here then a new row section 2 okay it's here now we can create some nested elements section 1.1 1 .1 and the parent ID will be 1 and save and section 
neuro section 2.1 and the parent ID will be 2 okay we here we go we can create we can go uh, deeply in our nesting um, so we can create section 2.1.1 and the parent ID should be 1 2 3 4 okay now uh, you can obviously change the um, the tree structure editing manually editing the parent ID of uh, every field uh, of every record in our table but it would be nice to see some drag and drop features that now are disabled so we can turn back uh, to our code in the navigator zone and uh, add the allow movement in instruction we have to restart our application now to see the changes oh I forgot something uh, the allow movement need um, the, uh, the recursor field this fields um, parent ID this has to be um, a real p ray field because uh, this uh, because it um, the movement feature as uh, it is um, implemented now uh, needs to uh, save data to um, um, a real field and submit the form so restart our application okay um we can just try to drag and drop here okay it's working we can uh, try to put this section here and it's automatically saved or we can just move uh, uh, an entire tree subtree or we can just create more complex uh, structures okay it's fully working but um if you try to move a uh, root element you just can't and this is a feature we wanted to implement because uh, sometimes um, you can just want uh, users to move uh, sub trees but not the, the root element um, if you're building something like a GMS uh, for uh, for a website so but we have another instruction here that is uh, allow roots movement which will allow us to do that as you can see now we can drag and drop the roads too um, so now we can just try to move the section 1 subtree inside the section 2 it's okay, um, but uh, we can see now that we can we have no possibility to make um, a subtree become a root section. So we have another instruction to use, uh, which is called allow movement to root. And let's restart our application. It's okay. You can see now that um, a home. Uh, icon has been appeared here and we can try now to don um, to drag our section 1 to the home and see that section 1 is now became a root element um, so this is um, just a quick tour of uh, what p 4 db navigator could do for you um, if you have questions please write us on forum thank you for watching see you soon